Hello, I'm Trent Noasad with Case IH, and today I want to show you a little bit more about Furrow Command and how it appears on the display, how we can work with it on the display, and as well as how to set it up in the monitor. Currently we are looking at a 550T user interface, our run screen. As you can see on our display, we're displaying PSI here and we have a little M. That means the unit is set in in-cab down pressure or the manual down pressure mode. This unit that we have today is equipped with furrow command. So to change to uh, furrow command downforce automation, we click our back button, enter in our menu, click the wrench, which is our setup tabs, and scroll all the way down to the bottom, and here is our auto downforce setup tab. If we click on that, we can see we are selected manual right now. All I have to do is hit auto, and the system for downforce automation will turn on. As you can see here, we have another tab, so we can change our downforce setting depending on whether we're doing a split rank application or not. Now if we go back to the run screen, we can see that the M has disappeared, and our display is now being displayed in pounds of downforce on the gauge wheel. If I click this button, it gives us our ability or our interface to set the downforce. As you can see here, I've got it set for 60 pounds. I can up that or decrease that if I want. It also allows me to have three presets saved. As you can see here, 50 pounds of force is one of our presets. 120 is also one of them. If we press that, the system will then operate with 120 pounds of force on the gauge wheel. The other thing that we must set, and we can do it on the run screen or from the setup tab, is where our depth handles are set. As you can see here, in the center we have this B. If we click on that, it allows us to change or select what position our depth handle is in. And if our handle is in between two depths, we'll go to the next highest. Right now you can see we're set in B, which is where these depth handles are indicated. If we moved to D, all we have to do is press that and bring that. This is an important feature to set. You're not going to set it that often, only when you change your depth of your unit. But this helps better tailor the downforce algorithm and maintain or help the system operate better. The next thing you'll see here is a zero. This actually allows us to zero out our depth handles. Uh, which we sometimes need to do from time to time uh, after a prolonged period of use. Click that out. And then we see this uh, indicator here with a percentage. This is set in, uh, it's at zero and it's orange right now. This is our actual percent ground contact measurement. So when you're operating this unit, this is the thing you want to watch. We're looking for 90 to 95% ground contact. That's, we know we're set when we're at that. This indicator will display 90 to 95, or display the actual percent ground contact. It'll also turn to a blue color when it hits that 90% mark, which is the run range we want to run into. Another feature that we can look at, and this is more for diagnostics or helping technicians set it, is if we press the back menu, we go to the stethoscope, which is our alarms and diagnostic page, and we go to load cell voltage. The system will indicate the voltage that our load cells are applying. So additionally, for units equipped with Furrow Command downforce automation, there is more information you can view from the run screen. Our lower half of the run screen, which is set up to view section status as well as blockage status by row, we can change it. If we press that button there, we'll change to now viewing percent ground contact by wheel or by sensor on the unit that's equipped. So the first thing we can look at is the actual percent ground contact of each equipped wheel. If we press that again, it'll now display for us the actual pounds each gauge wheel is carrying. And then if we press it again, it'll bring up the next rotating screen, which is load cell status, whether they're operating or not, on or off. This is somewhat helpful 
in helping diagnose any issues with it. Now, if I press this rotating button again, it'll bring us back to the stage we started at, looking at our section status as well as our blockage indicators. For more information, please contact your local Case IH dealer or review the operator's manual provided with this product.